DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy-to-manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. Tonight's DJ and TV show is sponsored in part by Electro Voice, DJ Event Planner, ADJ, NLFX Professional, Promo Only, and DJ and TV Insiders. It's yours, Dan. It's mine already? Yes, it is. So we got to stop talking about all that extra stuff, right? That's, yeah, now yes. we got to get how, to the... How John is going to dance for all of us at Atlantic City. Yeah. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to floss. I told you he's going to floss. <laughs> he's going to floss. John's going to floss. He's gonna floss. He, you know what's going to happen, though? We're going to tell John flossing. And despite the fact that he has kids who would teach him how to do it properly, he will get up there and just floss his teeth. Yeah, he's going to bring some, some floss. You like, can't no, take floss. your gums too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Get off my kids. Get off my lawn, you kids. Get off, uh, <laughs> get off my kids, you lawn. <laughs> yeah, whatever. No. It all works. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for checking in and, and tuning in to Shaney's Got Five on it. We got a, we got a great show for you tonight. We do want to thank you all for uh, taking time out of your busy schedules um, or your schedules watching uh, air shows. All right, whatever happens to be the case, we do want to thank you for uh, taking your time out to do that. I will say this, though. Um, William, we when we saw Oshkosh, Shaney and I thought, Bagosh, John had to straighten us out. Um, but anyway, for those of you who want to know, Oshkosh Bagosh still exists. They have a website. I don't know if it's any worth anything, but they do have a website. Um, so there you go. Uh, anyway, we've got a great, great show coming up. Like I said, she's got her five topics. We've got some other things to, to fill you in on, some of the stuff that's going to be happening up coming next month. Um, so without further ado, where are we starting at tonight, Shaney? Um, number one, <laughs> the place. Wow. You know, we could not know. You could have started at five and gone back to one. I could. So yeah, I'm gonna start with number one. Okay. And um, do I have any Bruce Springsteen fans? So for all those um, Bruce fans out there, I don't know if anybody has made it to New York to see his Broadway show. But for those that don't know, um, he's been doing a Broadway show. And it, it's kind of like Hamilton. Like if <laughs> if you didn't get a ticket, especially for this Broadway show, guess what? You're not gonna get a ticket because it's it's completely sold out, and it's sold out through his whole entire run of the show. Because it's from this one is from a certain date to a certain date, and he is not extending the show. So for those that were like, oh, I didn't know he had a show. Let me go look up tickets. You might be able to get some on StubHub or that way, but. I'm giving a big butt, not my big butt, but a big butt. There's and a butt. You cannot lie. <laughs> yeah, that is correct. Um, anyone who has Netflix, you guys are lucky if you're Springsteen fans because he is coming to Netflix. So he is bringing his um, his show to Netflix, the same exact Broadway show. To Netflix, and you're like, I didn't know he had a Broadway show. What's going on with it? I should Google it. You don't have to Google it because that's why we're here, and that's what I got five on it. Because number one, I'm going to tell you about it. All so right. the the Broadway show is based on his autobiography. So he actually did write a book. So I'm going to give you a little more 411 on him. He wrote a book that's called Born to Run, and if anybody is a Spring Spring fan, you know what Born to Run is one of his songs, one of his famous songs, and it's based. It's so the um. The show is based on the autobiography of the book and it's really like, it's a very intimate show and it's, it's him. The show is a one man show. 
it is him. It's his guitar. It's a piano. It's him also talking about personal stories. And he brings his wife out, Patty, for some stuff as well. So that's why it's been a sold out show because it is him. It's not like some of the other shows where the share and, and the Gloria Estefan, where it's not them, it's the story of them and things like that. This is him and it's been on Broadway. So the final, um, the final night is December 15th. And when that ends is the same day it starts on Netflix. Cool. So there, there, there's a there's a reason for that. So that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So Netflix is like the day it ends is the day that we're going to start. We're going to start this. It can be so awesome. So, yeah. So anyone who has Netflix and you guys are a big Bruce fan, you definitely can can do, you know, watch this. So I think it's going to be really, really cool if you guys are a Bruce Bruce fan and you didn't know about the show or we're trying to get tickets and weren't able to get the tickets. Cause like I said, it is sold out all the way through the, the last show. Here's one thing that I think that was cool. I don't know if you heard about this and, and I'm, I think I read it correctly on Facebook. So here's the thing. I'm getting this straight from Facebook. So you don't know. It, it could have been quite lie. It's, it's on the internet. So it's gotta be true. Right. Just like, gosh, gosh, but gosh. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but no, what, what I heard was that, while he's been in New York, he actually went on stage with Billy Joel mm -hmm. and sat on his piano while, while Billy was playing. Like I'm in that aspect. I'm like, yeah, that when I, when I saw Bruce Springsteen, I thought that's the direction you're going with it. I mean, no, yeah, sorry. Broadway show. That's cool. But I, I two classics like that together. That's okay. Well, you never know. I mean, maybe for the Netflix thing, he's going to do like an, you know, an intimate thing where he's going to bring out some of his friends. You know, you don't know what direction this Netflix thing is going to come into where he might just start bringing out, you know, fr friends of his. We'll see. Take advantage of it. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. Right. We'll yeah. We'll see. All right. All yeah. right. So here's the deal. Yeah. Uh, we got some cool things to talk yeah. about. Yeah. Let's do all it. All right. So before you get to number two. Let's do it right now. John's yeah. got something to share with all yeah, of you. Yeah. Let's do it. So if you did not know about the show, then you, and you didn't watch the video because you turned away and you just listened to us while you're watching TV, first off, shame on you for doing two things at once. But we're going to give you a chance here in a little bit. Don't worry. Okay? We'll give you all those details. I promise. All right. So anyway, uh, one was Bruce Springsteen. Two is going to be? You guys ready? Two. For those that um, – well, I have a question. Here. I have a question for everybody. Whoever has gone to Vegas, which I know a lot of us have gone to Vegas because we actually go do a conference in Vegas, but some of us just go to Vegas because we like Vegas. If you guys ever think about Vegas, I want people to think about this right now. Is there a music venue in Vegas? Think about it. I I would just I've specifically led to for believe music. yes, but specifically, is there like a music venue? I mean, I know they just, you know, they just built the the stadium, you know, the hockey stadium. So I'm, so we can't really count that right now, which is going to be a music stadium. You know, they're going to do concerts there, but let's take that one out of there because that doesn't count right now. So let's take that out of there. So you're talking a huge, a huge stadium. I wonder if the MGM. Yeah. So not like a House of Blues or something no, like that. No, because so you're those, talking some bigger. Yeah, I mean, I'm not talking okay. like where Celine Dion does, you know, in the hotel does her shows because like she'll move and then something else will come in there and then maybe a musical will come in, you know, something like that. I'm talking like, you know, you go to any big city I bet and, MG and music acts come, you know, and they, you know, Jimmy Buffett will come and he'll perform at these big venues in different cities. So if a huge artist like, well, Pipples, re you know, does a residency, he's, if he didn't have a residency, where would he do a concert at? Yeah, so so Bill and Howie are all if, saying are if, kind of both saying not one specifically. Right. Yeah. Right. There's, there's really not um, like some if, extra if, little pieces. You but. know, if Drake were to do a show, where would Drake go to do his concert after he him and Migos were on you know tour? If they wanted to go to Vegas, where would they do their concert? Hmm. 
I would assume they'd yes. have to go to the uh, the college there, maybe do something out there. But yeah, for a venue, the largest is MGM, and that's about fifteen to seventeen thousand. That's it. Yeah, I, I never well, thought that's about gonna that. Well, that's going to change. Mm. That will change because again, they don't have like a music venue. They don't they don't have a music venue at all. So um, Madison Square Garden is going to help them put together a really cool sphere music venue. So it's going to be like a huge sphere. So, you know, which is cool because then you could kind of see things from all different mm -hmm. angles and you don't have like, oh, I bought a ticket and I was obstructed from, you know, this because of this pole, because of this, because of that. So they um, are doing a futuristic music venue that got funded for $75 million. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you, know, uh, you know what? Yeah. So I wonder where the seats where I have to hang from the ceiling. Yeah. You know, exactly. So, so there, yeah. You can start your career. Yeah. And in the chat, you guys, that's, it's like those music venues you guys are talking about are not music venues. Those are outside of hotels. Those are just like outside stages. Those are not music venues that you guys are talking about. Um, that was like outside of a hotel. Mm -hmm. So those are not music venues. We're talking like a music venue. Yeah. That's, so um, about that. this is going to be an 18,000 seat arena. It's not going to open until 2023 because they have to build it, but they're shooting for, um, they're shooting for a 2020 opening. Um, and then the Sands owner is going to put his own $75 million in of his own money to aid into it because he wants to also put a walkway from the venue to the hotel. So you could do a, a, a walkway. So you don't, you know, if anybody's been to Vegas, it's like when you need to cross the street or you need to do this, yeah. it takes you like a half hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See in, in Northeast and Minnesota, they put the walkways so you don't have to go in the snow. These guys just don't want you to get hit by the cars. That's, right. that's exactly. nice of them. Exactly. So they're going to do like one of the bridges and everything like that. So, yeah, so they're going to do a huge music venue out there. Hmm. So you said, you wait, you said 2023 is when it's supposed to be finished. 2023 is, um, they're saying it won't open till it, but they really want to try to open it in 2020. And the okay, so, okay. Yeah. The owner from which hotel, do you remember? Sands. So Sands is a uh, Venetian and uh, uh. Okay, it's up oh, the, by the I, Venetian. Oh, Palazzo, is that how you pronounce it? Palazzo? Palazzo? No, not Palazzo with the P. P Palazzo. Oh, oh. It's, it's connected to, it's connected to Palazzo. Yeah. Ew. I'm not sure. Yeah. Pl it's, I always pronounce it wrong. No. So needless to say, it's going to be that's, the big sphere-shaped place. Yeah. Um, you know, they've got a Eiffel Tower. They've got a bunch of little different skyscrapers. Now they're going to have sphere. And yeah. for those of you that don't have spheres because you fail geometry, tell us. the math teachers will tell you that is a ball. Huge okay. ball. Not a circle. Huge. Yeah. Ball. Okay. Yeah. So I think so they're finally going to put like a music venue in there, which is going to be good because if you think about it, Vegas is never a stop for any of these music concerts. When all these concerts are on tour, like Drake and Migos are going on tour, they hit all these big places it's like they never hit it's never like a vegas stop mm -hmm. you know these rock concerts go on tour never hit a vegas stop and i wonder it, like, and you can't really say well they'll play unlv because during college time you can't play at unlv when all the sports things are going on yeah. so this is perfect for now music and anything else going on and now they can do it because if they don't have a residency, this is the perfect venue for them. And it's going to be more of a revenue for Vegas. I'm surprised that there wasn't something before. Yeah. Almost like there was like, we're not going to do this because there there's all this competition or, or something, something weird behind it. It just, it seems very unusual that a place that kind of prides itself on the entertainment that it offers would not have something big for acts to come in specifically and that's it yeah yeah hmm. all right so before we get to number three yes. those of you that are watching your tv and listening stop looking at the tv look at the screen john's got something for you okay uh, don't 
start looking at the TV. You want to look at Shaney anyway. We know that's the case. Um, but anyway, for those of you still not catching on, more details are yet to follow. Just keep listening. I promise you we'll explain that graphic that if you can't read it fast enough. Ooh, there we go. You can't read it fast enough. All, all right, so we're up to three now. Three. Okay. Hit us with it. What do we got? All right. Three. Um, do I have any Spice Girl fans or anyone who in their family – we're like in love with the Spice Girls um, that are still singing, you know, the Spice Girl songs. Because I know I'm still playing it for the for the '90s people yeah. out there. And Big time. The minute that song comes on, they're they're singing it on on the top of their lungs. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is they're opening an exhibit. The bad news is it's in the UK. No, oh, that makes sense. I mean, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. As big as they may have been in the U.S., they were much bigger yes. in the yes. U.K., believe it yes. or not. <laughs> exactly. So it's, yeah, so it's in the U.K. So they're doing, a, and it's opening this summer, and it's called Spice Up. So that is the Spice Girls exhibit. It's called Spice Up. And it's going to be the biggest touring exhibit for the Spice Girls. I didn't know they had, like, one before, but I'm sure they did because Spice Girls were huge. So I'm sure they have it. So it's going to be uh, the biggest training exhibit and also have feature activities such as dance classes and the one big thing that everybody's looking forward to. And it's the bus tour because this is the bus tour from the, spi the Spice bus that was also in the movie mm. Spice World that everybody I know ran to the movies to go see back in the day. Yeah. Who's got it on DVD? So, so this is basically who's, an who's exhibit of a whole bunch who's of stuff. Who's got that movie stuff. on VHS? Who's got that on VHS? No, okay. Oh, on, um, I, <laughs> so, John tried to give it to me for Christmas, and I, I said <laughs> who no. Saw it, who saw it in the bin at Walmart, at you know, or at Best Buy? So, or got it at Blockbuster. See, so, yeah, now I'm going old school. Yeah, you really All are. right. So it opens July 28th to August second, um, August 20th. And just in case somebody's got some extra miles on their points and they you really want to go to this, um, that's in London. So it starts in London. Then August 20th to September 4th, it moves to Manchester Central. I want to make sure I give you the right part of Manchester. Manchester Central. I don't want you, you know. Don't go Southern. Yeah. I don't want you to go to like the wrong part. So you're like, um, like the um, Chevy Chase movie. You're like, look, kids, Big Ben, the parliament. And you just keep going in a circle and circle. No, no, no I got you. I got you. Okay. No, I'm, I'm sorry. All right, <laughs> so, yeah. So the Spice Girls are having um, a big exhibit. Nice. So you get, and so I, I would be it would be cool to like go on the bus and just kind of see the Spice Girls bus. I mean, I wouldn't use my wouldn't use my miles for that. But I'm just saying that'd be kind of cool just to see the bus. Yeah. You, you give me a Spice Girl or two that might actually be there. No. You never know. Hey, th they probably will for the opening. I say they'll probably, oh, yeah. Yeah. they might all be there for the opening. Well, you know, a couple of them got nothing going on. So they <laughs> might, as well. might as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, where are they now? Baby Spice. Yeah, I know. Scary's got, America's got talent. Right. And Posh is still married to David Beckham. So yeah. outside of that, I don't know if the other ones, yeah, I think they're still around somewhere. Yeah, they're around. They're, they're around somewhere, yeah. Yeah, they haven't made it to TMZ yet, but they're around where I get my latest news of the world. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> of course. Of course. That's what, that's what, that's where it all belongs. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's not on TMZ. Remember, it's not true. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. There's a whole, whole bunch of other sites we could send you to for other kind of interesting stories. I see it's radio. Anyway, we won't go there. Um <laughs> More, do we got more on Spice Girls or, or, or is no, are we, are we gonna mean, are we leave it? It was just a little bit of a spice. It's a little kind bit of flavor. It's, 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 yeah, it's a little. We're just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna salt bay it. It's just a little bit like that. We're just gonna just salt, bay salt. It. Everybody knows what salt bay is. If you don't, you got to Google salt bay. Instagram him. Yeah. All right. Bay. So here's here's okay. the deal. I got to go Google salt bay. Um, yeah. You got to keep looking at the screen. John's got something yeah. more for you. I'm gonna salt. Bay. Okay, so I'm telling you, if you're not catching on to what's happening when each time we go in between these numbers, um, 
Well, then you don't want to be there. Yeah, cool. That's another story. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we do want you to come hang out with us. And again, I promise you more details. You just got to stick around. This is like this is like Ryan Seacrest. We'll give you the winner after, after the break. break. After the break. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, one, two, three, four. Four. Okay. What do we got for four? Four. So I'm going to kind of do a where are they, where are they now? Kind of mm-hmm. like we kind of did with like, but I'm going to do a continuation of what we did with the Spice Girls. Okay. And I'm going to do a where are they now with the Walmart Yodel Kid. You guys all remember, like, you know, yeah. I brought them up. I said, you know, dreams do come true. True. Like we can, we can all keep that dream alive for us. Hope alive. <laughs> so the, the, the Walmart Yodel boy. He's got a song out. Um, he's got an album. Well, yeah, but he's got a song that's actually getting played right now called Famous. Yeah, well, that's the name of his album, too. So he just dropped. He literally just dropped his album. Um, Yeah, the song is called Famous, and the album is called Famous because of the the single, which is getting airplay, which is, I mean, he's a love it, Mr. Walmart Yodel Boy, Mason Ramsey, which, I mean, I guess I could start calling him Mason Ramsey because that is his name, not Walmart Yodel. Yeah. But boy, but I mean, like this kid has been on the Ellen show numerous times. Like I said, he, he performed at Coachella, <laughs> you know, he's been to numerous award shows as a, as a guest, you know, talk about fame from Walmart. This is ridiculous, but, um, six country songs and including a cover of Hank Williams, love sick blues. So for you country fans um, or Hank Williams fans, he did a cover of, of Love Sick Blues on this album. So the, the album has dropped, um, as Dan said, the first song, Famous, which is also the name of the album, has dropped and it's getting airplay. So you go, Mason Ramsey, from Walmart to Coachella to Ellen to getting your album on radio. Who would have thunk it? You go to stand on the end of a corner or the end of an aisle and yodel, and it, and it leads to famous. Yeah. But now, now I will say it's got a very it's got a very catchy line. He wants to be famous for loving you. That's it. Yeah. He doesn't want to be famous. Yeah. If he's famous, he's going to be famous for loving you. I mean, God bless him. He's eleven years old, and he's such a cutie too. Like he's just always. If anybody has seen him, he's just always so happy, and I love that. Is just you know that's like for anyone that saw the video that I posted in the insider of the 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 girl, the the DJ, incredible. I mean, I love to see the young generation and their attitude and just the positiveness and just the way they're thinking, and no negativity, just major positive vibes, positive vibes all around. And I just love that. I love seeing that. And I just wish more adults would would be that way with everything. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've been a negative Nancy too, but I just I just wish that a lot of people would see it through the eyes of some kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just it's just great. You. Yeah. Yeah. So go go Mason Ramsey. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. All right. So we got four. Yeah. We got the fifth one. She's been saving a good one for us. And if she didn't, well, that's our own fault for believing that she saved a good one for us. So you just got to stick around for just a few more moments, okay? All right, so welcome back. I forget. Did we say we're going to talk about it now or are we saving it for after five? After After five. after after five. After five? After five. Okay. Okay. We'll save it for after five. Um, but anyway, so we went through one, through three, four. Four was a good one. Although I don't know if top Spice Girls. Anyway, uh, so what is our what is our number five? Number five. It was a toss up. Number five was a toss up. I really wanted to um, tell you guys about this DJ from Tomorrowland, but it was more of a visual for you guys, and I, it was just taken over the whole show. So you guys are just going to have to Google up it. It's all over social media. And I don't want you really guys to listen, to watch it that much because it's going to be my set in Atlantic City. Now, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, <laughs> let, me, let me pause that for just one second because before we started the show, John promised that if we could get 50 new insiders set up 
and subscribing, by the time we get to Atlantic City, he was going to at least do three of the moves from that video. If you get 70 subscribers for the Insider, and I'm telling you, you guys are going to have to work hard for that one, but you can do it. He will do 10 moves. From the Tomorrowland video. Wow, that's... I better stretch. I was just going to have him like, <laughs> Fortnite video, Fortnite dancing, but you're no. doing the Tomorrowland uh, dancing. If we get 100, he'll do the whole routine. <laughs> with the fan, with the fan. For those of you who have no idea what we're talking about, just Google it. Me later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I can. I also I just realized I'm like, we know what's going on. They have yeah. No clue. And if you guys don't know Tomorrowland, it's like the the biggest biggest festival in the world, and it's. She's live- not talking about some spot in in Disneyland no, or Disney it's, World. It's live stream and it's crazy and it's yeah huge. Um. Anyways. So, all right, number five, and it's not Tomorrowland, but that's that's that could have been that could have been just one through five in the video <laughs> of Salvador. Salvador. All right, so number five, um, Pink Floyd. For all my Pink Floyd fans, I have some news for you guys. Again, you might need some some miles and some some air, airplane points and miles to to get to where I'm talking about. But it, if it's worth your while, you might like it. Um, they have an opera. Well, not Pink Floyd himself, but they are doing an opera based on the album The Wall. Now, okay. for those that don't know, they actually kind of already did this and they debuted it. Um, they made its premiere in Montreal already. Now it's going to do its um, debuting in the United States. And remember, I just said it's an opera. So think about okay. songs. Think about the songs from the wall in opera style. Hmm. Just think about that for a second. And I'm not saying like in the Latin language. <laughs> it's definitely going to be in you know in, in in English and everything. So it and it's and it opened already. It opened July 20th in Cincinnati. So if we have any people in the chat room or on YouTube that lives in Cincinnati and didn't go see it. Shame on you guys for not giving us a heads up about it, that it just happened. So it started in Cincinnati, July 20th. And, you know, for those that don't know, the opera is, it it follows the rock singer, it follows a rock singer named Pink, who um, relives the the pivotal moments um, of his life during the stay at a, I'll call it a mental health clinic. I'll say it like that. Hmm. I'll say it night, a mental health clinic. Um, and it runs all the way through the beginning of August. So it's a short run. It's a short run of it for the US. They might extend it longer if it if it goes well, but I think that's kind of cool. Nothing it's screams opera different. like Cincinnati. <laughs> the hot the hot they had, to, they had to pick a city. They couldn't do they couldn't do Broadway in Chicago because we have like a bunch of stuff going on here that's debuting. So they they couldn't they couldn't do that. But I think that's kind of cool like peak floyd the wall opera style different i you know i could i could picture at least one of the songs that way yeah because it has kind of a little feel to it but yeah Hmm. Hmm. yeah i think it's cool like i i definitely something that's different you know like for for people that you know were never into opera because it was boring to them or they didn't like understand the language, but they were music people. This would definitely maybe change some people's minds because if they're rock fans or they're into, you know, Pink Floyd, this would definitely be like, okay, I can say I went to an opera because it's, you know, it's. The Dave in the chat room brings up a good qu- good question. Yes, I'm actually not watching the chat. So I'm sorry. Yes. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, I got you back. Thank um, you. He says it's not like it's not a rock opera like Tommy. No, no, it's okay. not a rock opera. It's no, no. Okay. It's he a compares real it to opera. Bugs Buddy and Elmer Fudd. I know the reference. Don't think we're gonna get kill the wabbit. Kill the yeah. wabbit. Yeah. No, this is like real opera. That's what I'm saying. This is this is like d- the real opera version with the yeah, classical opera to the music of of um the wall cool yeah 
Yeah. So I mean, if anybody, I, I will say this, if everybody checks it out, whether you're from Cincinnati or you want to see it bad enough, if you drive to it or fly to it, um, I wouldn't mind hearing about it. I wouldn't mind yeah. hearing your, 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 your feedback on it. So. I mean, and that's yeah. the thing. I mean, that's, that's what I, I love about talking to, you know, d- different DJs is different. You know, you talk to them about different music. You talk to them about things that you don't, that aren't your style. You talk to them about things that isn't your comfort zone. And and that's what I love about, you know, like this show, you know, that I can talk to you guys about things that you wouldn't normally know about and wouldn't, you know, that I can open everybody's eyes to different things. Now, whether you take it in and you don't take it in, that's on you guys. But my thing about it is if you want to get better and you want to change, the only way to do that is to open your eyes to different things. You don't have to like it, but at least you know it's out there. So when somebody says to you, like from last show, if somebody says to you something like, hey, I'm a big Tom Petty fan, you could turn around and say to them, well, you know what? He's got a box, you know, of, of music that's coming out and blah, 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 which you wouldn't have known that, things like that. So that's what I love that if everybody would just not have their blinders on and would actually open their eyes to everything, whether you like it or not, you might just take a little golden nugget. And that's kind of like what the DJ conferences are about too. And that's why you need to be a DJ and TV insider because you learn that kind of things from our type of shows. Well, and, and, and again, you're not going to drop a check from the Pink Floyd opera that I would expect you to. Um, but you know, exactly as Shani said, somebody comes up and, and either asks for something or you just start talking and you find out that they're you know, a fan. Hey, by the way, did you hear that they did an opera and it's like within the States for a month and yada, yada, yada. Hey, suddenly, suddenly you become more than the guy that just pushes buttons. Yeah. You yep. become, you become you know, a well-rounded musical uh, person. Very, very similar, if we'll say, to the, to the Mike Walter um, you know, history of music. Whether, whether you followed the stuff on Facebook or whether you picked up the stuff since then, you know about the tracks a little bit more. You know about mm-hmm. the, the groups a little bit more. And this story. just adds to that. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, and that's the thing. Like, I, I could sit here and I could talk to you guys about how, you know, Nicki Minaj just dropped the song with, you know, with Tashaka 6 9 and, and, you know, and then I'm sure half the chat room is going to sit there and talk crap about hip hop, you know, but there are other things I wanted to talk about today. But there's so much that I could sit here and talk to you guys about. I just wish everybody would just open their eyes to the broaden of every type of music and everything and not make excuses for what you do and what you are and just say this show or any of the other DJ and TV shows broaden my horizons and make me just be a you know better person with music, whether you're getting more gigs or you're not getting more, you're more gigs, at least the shows, you know, making you better and you're not negative about things. So listen, just, you know, learn a little something, listen to a little something. And it might even, it might help you. Like I said, somebody might turn around and say something about the Spice Girls and you might be like, Oh, Hey, here's a little tidbit about them. Do you know that they are, you know, they have a little, you know, exhibit that's going on in the UK this summer. I, I'm sure, you know, it's not anything you are, you're interested in, but you might want to Google and see some of the pictures of the exhibits that are happening there. Oh my God, my daughter's going to love that. Thank you so much. That might get you somewhere. Mm-hmm. Just a little tidbit. And by the way, all those extra things that Shaney's talking about, you come hang out with us afterwards because we got that show coming up here in a little bit. We don't leave us yet, okay? We got some more things to talk about here. But afterwards, John will drop a link, takes you to the Zoom. You clicked on that. You come in. You hang out with us afterwards um, for who knows how long until we pretty much either run out of batteries or, or steam. Um, but you come in, and, and Shaney will fill you in on some of those other things. So – L- little, yeah, little I definitely have there. more than five and I didn't add those in today, but I definitely would love to fit whoever's going to come into the hangout. Um, you guys are going to get a couple extra ones today. There and you go. I've been home all week. <laughs> <laughs> for, for anyone that follows me in social media, they've seen I've just been from like bed to couch to outside lawn chair to, yeah, I've been home all week. So I had some extra time to study. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Sorry. So here's the deal. We, we've, we've teased you enough. If you read fast, 
or if you read even slow, um, you were able to pick up on on the beautiful graphic that uh, Jimmy Spin did for us. Um, James De Palma d does a great work on our graphics, and he put that together. Coming up at DJ Expo here next month in Atlantic City, um, Tuesday night, you need to make your plans right now to come join us. Whether you are an insider, whether you used to be an insider, whether you're thinking about an insider, whether uh, your friend is, uh, whether you just want to come hang out at a cool place on a Tuesday night. Um, you need to come join us. We're going to be at the Irish pub in Atlantic city. Um, Howie has told me free parking. So if you're going to drive over from Harris, you do have a place that you can park. You're not going to be spending a fortune. Um, if you don't feel like driving, obviously there are Ubers that will take you there. There are um, jitneys. Um, I think Peter's going to actually be there. So he's probably not going to be driving the jitney to pick you up. So you won't have the best jitney driver, but we you'll have another one. What was that? <laughs> we want Peter yeah. to hang with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but it's just it's just going to be kind of a laid back, chill type of event. There's going to be some music. There's going to be some lights. Of course, it would not be a, a DJ event if there weren't DJs. Um, Jimmy's going to be spinning. Gonna be some, wait, there's not going to be some lights. There's, there's going to be some incredible lights. The little have. big show. The little like, big show of Howie's is coming out. Together, nice. so I just wanna, I that just sounded wanna, really, really perverted the way I, I said that. I just wanted to play it's okay. It's all right. We're almost at the hangout, <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a family show. Um, but uh, you know what? I, I, for, I forgot the start time. I wasn't paying attention to the traffic. I forget the start time. Nine, Nine o'clock. Okay. So here's the deal. You still get to go to all your different things you're going to want to do. You're still going to be able to check out the exhibit floor. That closes at six. You're still going to be able to potentially get a dinner if you decide that you don't want to eat at the Irish pub, though they do have food there. And then you get to come hang out with us over at the Irish pub. Couple notes, free to get in. Absolutely 100% free to get in. Um, however, anything that you purchase to, or anything that you would like to drink or eat, um, that's on your own dime. We got all some right. surprises too. Yes. Just there are sponsors. There is swag. There is all kinds. Don't of we awesome. die. Stop! 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 Shh. I didn't tell what it was. Okay, just no more. No more. We'll, every week we're going to give a little bit more. So. Well, now you could tell me that. I was going to tell him everything tonight. Say that was yeah. That was everything. Right? There's nothing left to tell. I mean, the only thing. Yes, there do, is, John. You could t you could tell where the bathrooms are. It's about the only thing you left out. Down the hall and to the left. You know, How we? Now John gave that away. <sighs> well, I wanted to say something. All right. All right. Well, we'll figure, you know what? Here's, you know what that means. If we told him everything tonight, that means that between now and next Monday, we have to make crap. We up. have to figure something else to tell them that takes us up even a further notch. We do. I got it. It's all good. Okay. She, got Annie's it. got it. Annie's got it. Got so it. next week, she's going to have five on it <laughs> and the sixth thing because you can't use one of your five to talk about Tuesday night. Okay. Okay. How we call me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> change plans <laughs> oh my goodness so so here's the thing and, and and we we encourage you to come out and join us for for a lot of reasons we want to be able to have some fun with you and we want you to be able to you know get to know us and, and we get to know you and, and we did this last year not with the dj and the lights but just hanging out and having a good time and, and so that's why we want to do it again this year um so we do encourage you to do it and and we want it more laid back because you're going to get in inundated on that exhibit floor with noises and everything else and, but it would not be a dj event if there weren't music playing so come out have a good time relax talk laugh have some good times that's what it's about it's just about having some fun with your friends so um that wraps us up for tonight for this part but like i said we have a hangout coming up here in just a few moments john again will be dropping that link so that you can come and join that's us right. and talk with us and and uh you can ask questions you can oh, um yeah. give shaney other things to talk about and to find out what that sixth thing was that didn't make the top five list Tanya. you'll find <laughs> Thanks out very much. you'll find out if kiki loves me i'm just saying you know what that means <laughs> Yeah, I'm still finding out if Annie's okay. Um, no, we need, to, we need to know if Annie's okay. I mean, <laughs> like, it's I'm, my head is spinning. I'm still trying to figure out Annie's okay, and now I have no if Kiki loves me. <sighs> <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. We'll catch you later. <laughs>